morning everyone today i wish i could say that i was resting i have tried to rest as much as possible but actually i'm going on another adventure tomorrow this was something that i'd planned kind of recently but i was like oh am i gonna be able to do it coming back from holiday feeling a little bit tired but i'm gonna be fine so tomorrow i am going to the peak district So I actually joined this group called The Travel Squad on Facebook a little while back and I haven't been on any trips with them yet. I have attended their pub quiz. It was something that I found on TikTok and I've kind of just been on it from there. It is for people who are looking to do like-minded things like go hiking, go traveling, that sort of thing. And of course, I want to do both of them things, so it's the perfect place for me. The people who are going camping, I've met four of them. Yeah, I've met four of them, and there's a hundred people going, so it's a really big group of us. And we're all camping in this field, and obviously, we've never met each other before, so it's going to be all about sort of making friends and um, doing them things together. I have got most of my stuff packed already, I did start packing it last week, but I do need to run through everything just to make sure I've got enough for the three days that i'm there because i'm going friday to sunday i actually have a little work meal now so i'm gonna get going and when i get back i've got a lot to do i am just about finished with my packing it has taken a little while because i had a few different things i needed to pack i'm taking the tent so fingers crossed everything is there because i i couldn't put everything in the tent bag so I've had to put it in several Audi's bags actually, but I've just got to show you because it's quite funny. <laughs> this is one tent, actually no, this is one tent. <laughs> Good morning everybody, I've just got ready. I am 95% packed I want to say. Um, there's a few other bits that I've just found and I thought oh yeah I'll take that, I'll take that and it just keeps piling up. The plan of action is... Around half one, I'm going to go to Hannah's house, pack up because she's driving. I'm going to pack up her car and get everything ready to go. We're going to do a little food shop and I think we're going to set off about three. Uh, we want to get there for like five, half five. So and it takes about two and a half hours. So I think, yeah, if we leave at three, that'll give us enough time. Okay, so I've got the car packed and ready to go. I obviously have to transfer everything over then to Hannah's car, so fingers crossed it all fits. But I'm going to pop the home bargains first of all, just get a few little bits, and then yeah, make my way over to Hannah's, do the beat shop, and then we'll be on route. Me and Hannah have literally just done the food shop. We've bought so much food. I don't know if anyone else is going to be bringing quite as much food as we have, but it is what it is. We will literally go around and like, do we need this? Yeah. Do we need this? No, we're just kind of blunt, straight to the point. Yeah, no, don't bother. Now we're going to leave in a few minutes time. I think the journey is going to take about two hours, two and a half hours altogether. So we're at the campsite, we've set up our tents, it took us about two hours but we got there in the end and now we're making some pasta so see how that goes. Thank you. Is everyone happy with their food? Yeah, oh, absolutely great. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. 
We've just woken up at the Peak District. There is 100 people here. Last night was a bit of a write-off actually because it was pouring down with rain. We had a nightmare putting the tent up because we, had, we didn't realise that two of the poles were shorter. So we put the wrong pole in the wrong side. So yeah, it was, it was basically a write-off, but we're all okay this morning. I made everyone dinner last night and I've been designated chef for the trip. And yeah, we're just about to go out on a walk now. I think the walk is two and a half hours. So yeah, we're, um, we're all ready to go now. Come on, Hannah. <laughs> Get set. Go. <laughs> As you can probably see i'm now home and in my bed i got home a few hours ago now and unpacked everything i bit the bullet and i just done it because i thought i'm gonna crash soon so i got all of that done somehow i had a shower and then just got into bed and i'm just gonna have a nice chilled evening tonight definitely definitely needed and i'm working tomorrow so yeah, I think it's wise that I have a chilled one, but honestly, there's nothing better than being in your own bed. I didn't actually realise how comfortable my bed was until I slept on the floor for two nights in the cold. Actually, in the freezing cold. I Last night, I just thought, this is the end. I didn't think I was going to wake up. I will leave the photo in what I was wearing over my face because I was that cold. I slept in a coat a jumper, a top, a long sleeve top, a bra, leggings, joggers, two pairs of socks, a eye mask, a balaclava and socks on my hands. Yeah, socks on my hands. Yeah, you heard that right. Um, don't actually have a photo of them, but um, Hannah can vouch for me that I was wearing socks over my hands <laughs> because i'm an absolute weirdo but if you understood how cold it was yeah anyone going camping please take gloves and about seven thousand layers even if it is warm in the daytime because the evenings get so so cold and uh yeah i was in a lot of layers and yeah still cold but i managed to sleep last night which was something the friday night i slept awful because people were up really late playing music and um the airbed was deflating and i was also sharing with anchor that day so i kept <laughs> i kept rolling over and she's really really small right so every time i rolled over she'd like kind of like bounce in the air and i was really scared that like, 
<laughs> she was gonna wake up so i was really like fidgeting but like trying to be careful and it, yeah it was just an awful night of sleep but last night she stayed in a different tent so it was a lot better <laughs> for me <laughs> because i had a room to myself so yeah this concludes the end of my vlog if you do want to know any more information about the travel squad slash tts then please let me know because honestly i would recommend to anyone who's looking to do this sort of thing um not necessarily camping but just traveling meeting new people they have so so many events and honestly it's changed my life i had such a good time and i've got some more tts events coming soon so i'll be sure to vlog them as well i hope you have enjoyed today's vlog and i will be back soon with another video